All right, real quick for the last time here at uh, New Britain Day in New Britain, PA. Always next year podcast, we're just going to give a quick reminder here and a quick thank you. So, first of all, thank you uh, to, to everyone who puts this put this day together. There's a lot of cool, a lot of cool stuff going on here today. Um, a lot of family oriented things. We got a bunch of different carnival style foods. Uh, like I said, bounce houses, uh, food trucks, which were delicious. I think you and I both ate, ate the food or the oh, yeah. food trucks. Well, Half of my first thing ended up on the on the ground, but uh, yeah. <laughs> half of my cheese stick ended up on the ground. But yeah, it was good food. Yeah, it was it was a good day. And your dad actually it, it, did he put this together completely himself or, or what? He had some help, but he was really the mastermind behind it. Awesome. Uh, and you said this is the second year that this has happened, right? I believe so. Yes, I could be wrong. All right. Well, I'm sure again. my dad, who listens to this show, will correct me if I am wrong. <laughs> Well, uh, Mr. Gilmore, thank you very much for, uh, for one, securing us a table here. It's been fun you know, getting to uh, interact with some of the passerby people that are coming through here today. Uh, here we are uh, again in New Britain Day at, uh, New, what is this, Coverbridge Park is what it's called, right? Coverbridge Park, correct. Coverbridge Park, yeah. Nice park, by the way. And, Rob, you actually fixed the whole basketball court here? Uh, yeah, about um, 10 or 11 years ago for my Eagle Scout project, President of the Boy Scouts, I uh, repainted, repainted the court, put the lines on the court, um, added a three-point line, which they didn't have before. And also, uh, new backboards, new rims, new nets. Nice. Yeah, your family has deep roots here, and you know, it's, it's pretty cool that you sat here and you, know, you can actually sit there and see still 11 years later. Maybe not kept up the way that you would have liked, but still nice regardless. Um, but yeah, definitely a really, really nice day here at New Britain Day. Uh, your dad put it together. My dad, if you hear in the background... Uh, is actually playing. I'll actually post a couple clips. Uh, I, I took a few videos. My dad's got to be like 65 or something, man. He's still damn good. <laughs> he is still good. Um, so yeah, again, if you if you listen to us, uh, you know, also check out on Facebook uh, Michael Mead. And if you have parties, if you, if you have weddings, if you have any, this guy, he's look. And I'm, I'm, I may be biased because he's my dad, but I really don't think so. He really is that good. Uh, so if you hear him in the background, uh, you know, again, Michael Mead on on Facebook. Uh, I'm sure he has a website, too. I can't remember it right now. Um, but, again, we, we had a lot of fun here today uh, at New Britain Day. We'll probably do more live events. Rob and I, we were talking about possibly going down to Citizens Bank Park for some Saturday games. CBP, hell yeah. Count me in for that. So there you go. Maybe we'll, we'll set up a live table there somewhere. Uh, a very worthy applause there for my dad, by the way. Um, I think he's got half of his students here right now as he's singing a bunch of kids' songs to them. <laughs> he's so good with the kids. But... Um, but yeah, so we're we're gonna look to to do a couple live shows at, uh, at Citizens Bank Park. Uh, maybe come Eagle, Eagle season. Maybe we'll we'll do a couple shows there. I don't really know that that's that's really gonna be something any of us are into. We kind of want to get in and watch the game. But uh, no, we but, could um, do pregame shows and then go in and watch the game. Yeah, or and go to go over to Xfinity and watch the game. That too, actually. Yeah, that's probably not a bad idea. Uh, but yeah, we're going to par- uh, start doing a few more live shows, get a, a little bit more opportunity to sit here and interact with uh, interact with our followers, new followers, uh, new fans. So if, if you're listening when you get home today and you were one of the people that we were able to meet today, uh, we enjoyed it. And um, you know, again, th- thanks for the subscribe if you are subscribing. If you're just checking in for this episode, we appreciate that too. Um, do tell your friends and family about us. Uh, again, you can find us on Apple Podcasts, so if you have an iPhone, you just they have a podcast app specifically for Apple, uh, so you can find it there. Uh, you can find us on iTunes. You can find us on Stitcher Radio for Android Android users. You can find us on uh, Spreaker, Spotify. Uh, we do have commercials up on uh, SoundCloud. We don't have full episodes up there on SoundCloud any longer. Uh, we are also under review right now to be on iHeartRadio and Google Podcasts. So soon enough we will have... Uh, well, you'll be able to hear us anywhere that uh, anywhere that we have, or anywhere that you can find podcasts. So we're we're definitely excited about that. So give us a subscription, uh, and then be sure to rate and review us. So, uh, Rob, do you have any favorite reviews that you have? I haven't had had a chance to read through them lately. Uh, there are some good ones that we had earlier on. I kind of forget, can't remember them off the top of my head. But the next review there we gets go. an autographed picture <laughs> of my ugly mug. Trust me, you want it. It's going to be worth a lot of money one day. Absolutely. So give us that next review, number 19. Review number 19 gets the autographed photo of Rob's face, which should be, again, on every fridge in America. Uh, Handsome man he is. (laughs) Uh, And if you're looking at our new album cover, he is the top left, so that is the photo you'll probably get signed, probably with a personalized message. Rob's got 
pretty, pretty good penmanship and pretty good sarcasm and wit. So I imagine your personalized message will be pretty fantastic. Uh, so review number 19 gets that. Review number 20 uh, gets me singing Wagon Wheel, a video of that on Twitter. Uh, I do not have as good of a voice as my, as my dad. I, I actually have a terrible voice. Uh, so that is going to be a, a damn mess. Um, but uh, we have all different types of milestones for reviews. So please, uh, you continue to review us. Have your friends and family review us, your bosses, your colleagues, anything that you want. Um, again, we are all Philadelphia sports here at uh, AMY Podcast. You can also follow us on Twitter at AMY podcast you can go to our website it's www.alwaysnextyearpodcast.com you can subscribe to the website as well our twitter also um both of those are more announcement based we, we do do some writing rob you wrote the last article for us about celebrations and sports yeah many and, moons ago and why, <laughs> not that long ago um, but uh on why they should be more accepted um but uh each each segment that we have again we have seven main segments here uh for for amyp they each have their own tab which is uh It'll be pretty unique, pretty cool. Each one will reflect the personality of those who are on those segments most commonly. Uh, so that'll be cool. Again, the website there is www.alwaysnextyearpodcast.com. If you want to be involved in our segments, we strongly encourage you to do so. You can do it via our Twitter. You can do it our personal Twitters. Mine is at Shane underscore Mead. Rob, yours? Radio underscore Rob. You can also get the rest of the team. LJ is at LJ Harrell 54 uh, Connor is at Connor10, T-E-N, not the number 10. Uh, Steve is at Schmitty324 and Stephanie is at Stephanie E. Ray, R A E 90. Remembered it this time. Uh, and that is the entirety of our team, all six members here uh, for, for AMYP. That's where you're going to find most of the personality. Um, each segment has inner segment bits now. We have a, a multitude of different things that you can kind of chime in with. Um, you know, there's what if categories, there's would you rathers, there's uh, a GoFundMe page for Pat Nishek. Uh, there's a Selly in Philly, there's in Defense of Gabe, there's all different types of fun little things there. Hinky Cell Phone is another one for TJ's One of Us. Um, so the more that you listen to our show, the more that you will hear those segments kind of, you know, in the middle of each and possibly at the end of some of these segments just for some fun. Uh, so that is something you guys can actually personally do. The other way that you can do so is if you are watching games or reacting to news that happens in real time and you want your raw emotions heard, you can email us. It's anypodcastteam at gmail.com. You can also text us now. It is 267-640-5523. Again, it's 267-640-5523. Just put the header uh, AMY podcast text. Uh, that way we know what's coming in from you. And, uh, and again, you'll, you'll be able to hear your rants uh, on some of, our, some of our different segments, primarily uh, Disciples of Ed. Rob, you host that one. That'll, I feel like that's probably going to be And that'll be, be one fun. of the inner segment segments on Disciples of Ed, the rant segment. And, That's yeah. probably going to be the best one, and I'm sure Steve will absolutely love that. I think it's created for Steve. Uh, I think single-handedly. Well, yeah, I was thinking about Steve's always got something to rant about, so might as well give him his time of day. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, so there's a, a, look, a multitude of different ways that you guys can get involved in our show as well. Um, we do like to hear ourselves talk, but we, we certainly want to hear your, your comments and your feedback and your thoughts as well. So whatever takes you guys have involving Philadelphia Phillies uh, or Philadelphia sports, Phillies, Eagles, Sixers, and Flyers, send them our way at AMY Podcast on Twitter. Again, uh, again, the website is www.alwaysnextyearpodcast.com. Drop us a review on your Apple iTunes section, your Stitcher Radio, Google Podcasts, iHeart Radio, uh, Spreaker, and Spotify. Anything that you got there, send us in those reviews. Number nineteen again gets Rob's ugly mug on her fridge. He is handsome, I promise. Uh, and then number 20 gets me singing, which is just an awful, awful thing. Uh, <laughs> um, a handful of other things. we got ticket giveaways. we got merchandise giveaways. Um, and uh, I think LJ has to wear a, a Sixers jersey or something for... What was LJ's? It's something Sixers related. I don't know, related. but that sounds like a good one. It was something Sixers related. I don't know if he said that he would become a Sixers fan. I don't know. No, I can't that's imagine. definitely not. I feel like that's <laughs> an unattainable thing, both in numbers of reviews and, and convincing LJ to become a Sixers fan. But um, but yeah, so all, always next year podcast here again. Been a pleasure being here at New Britain Day. Thank again, Rob, your dad. Thank him uh, for for securing us this table and getting to meet some of the people of, uh, of the Bucks County area here, just outside of Doylestown again in New Britain. And always awesome to hear my dad sing live again. Don't happen often enough for me. So definitely a good day all around. Bob, you got anything before we head out for the day? No, uh, just uh, be sure to tune in next week. We'll have some more ep- episodes coming your way, and look forward to uh, interacting with you more as we go on with the podcast. Absolutely, absolutely. That'll be it here for always next year podcast, AMYP. 
I am Shane. He is Rob. El was here earlier. Thank you guys again. I uh, appreciate you tuning in for some of these live shows.